Hello baby cakes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an everyday makeup look that you can wear with red lipstick. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. And thank you for all my returning subscribers. Stay tuned. Okay, first we're going to start off with the BH Cosmetics Martin Matte Palette. And I'm going to take this white color that's in there and use that as one of my transition colors. Just using a big fluffy blending brush to blend that into my transition area just above the crease. Blend, blend, blend. Next I'm going in with the little pink beige color that's next to it as my second transition color. And I'm just going to blend, blend that in. Next, I'm using this uber cheap palette that I got some time ago. It's actually called Colors Concept, and I just got it from a uh, CVS drugstore for only $4.99. I'm sure you can find something similar now in the same store in the CVS or Walgreens or a store like that, a drugstore called Drugstore Makeup. I'm just taking that pretty yellow color. It's a matte color, it's a matte yellow. And I'm blending that in as my third transition color. Next, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Club Tropicana palette and I'm just going to go over those colors with that beautiful yellow. It's a foil color so it has some glimmer to it. I'm using the same brush for all of these, a uh, fluffy blending brush from BH Cosmetics. Next, I'm going back in with my BH Cosmetics Martin Matte pa um, Palette. And I have a smaller blending brush that would make this color be applied more precisely. And I'm using that beautiful green to go right into the crease. Making sure that's blended in really good. Now I'm going back into my Club Tropicana BH palette. Or was that? Yes, and I'm using the green, beautiful green color from that palette to go over that crease. I 
I have to say, BH Cosmetic palettes are really difficult to open. And it caused me to crack the covers. And you see, for my Club Tropicana palette, the whole thing finally came off. Okay, now I'm going to use this e.l.f. white base just for my lid, for my lower lid. And I'm just going to smooth that on with the applicator that comes in the bottle. And then I'm going to take my finger and smooth it on so it could be flawless. So there won't be any lumps or bumps. Now I'm going back into my Martin Matte's BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to use the lightest pink in there. And I'm just going to lightly pat that over my lower lid. So we can get a pink base color. The look I'm going for is a deep red but I'm I see uh, when it's all done that the red is not the deepest it's not really the red that I was going for I'm going to have to find a different palette with a darker more pigmented red in it So I'm going into the Club Tropicana palette and I'm going to use that darkest red color that's in there. I'm just patting that over my lower lid where I put the pink eyeshadow. Okay, next I'm taking my NYX eyeshadow, and this color is called Wild Orchid. It's number HS05, Wild Orchid. Wow, 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 Orchid. Wow, 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 Orchid. It's a really, really pretty pinkish red color. So I'm just smoothing that over my lower lid so I can get the darkest red that I could achieve out of the eyeshadows that I have. But it's still light enough for a daytime color. It looks like something you could use for Christmas as well. But I was thinking more of an ethnic vibe for the wig that I uh, showed. What was the name of the wig? Tatiana. Now I'm going to use my Shaney eyeshadow, and that's in color number 12. It's the deepest green color that's in the palette, or in the box of 12 eye eyeliners.
Now this eyeliner, as I can show you from uh, a video I did before, is very smooth and creamy, a great gel. And it has really marvelous colors in it. I'll leave a link for that video for those line of eyeliners. Now I'm going to go back into my Club Tropicana into that yellow color. Just going to pat that under my eye, right under the waterline. And I'm going to take one of those little spongy applicators that you use, that comes in the eyeshadow palettes, the little cheap ones, and I'm just going to blend that in. Now I'm going to use my duo glue and I'm going to place some crystals over my eyes. It's not really as hard as it looks. I think if you use the squeeze glue it's a little more difficult but if you use the, the clear glue with the brush there's a, a duo white clear glue and you brush it onto the back of the crystal, it's much easier to apply. Now I've put on my Kiss, what's the name of these eyelashes? Kiss Ritzy. Put on my Kiss Ritzy eyelashes and I'm just going to apply my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now I'm going to place crystals right next to my water duct to give it some kind of exotic look. Next, I'm going to take my smoldering eyeliner, and that's from L'Oreal, and I'm just going to line my waterline with it. I know my hair looks crazy. That's actually my natural hair. You wouldn't know it with all the wigs that I wear, and I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and put it on my bottom lashes. I'm going to leave all the products I use down in the description bo box and I'll leave some links in case you want to purchase the products. And I'm also taking that smoldering eyeliner and just putting it Placing it lightly in my crease to give it a slightly smoky look. And here is the finished look. I'm also going to list in the description box the lipstick that I used. And I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know what you think down in the comment section.
see you next time.